Hi, my name is Dan Gravesen and in this video I'll show you how you can use Nabiva Developer Studio to create and package Java mapping and XSLTs. So first off, we will create a new project, a Java project, CN mapping. And we use stage 3.1.6. And we just use this standard one. And oh, we will create a new source, source folder. Finish. And allow output folder. The default output folder is a source, that's okay. And we go to the library here, we will add a library, it's just this XI, XPI library. And that will allow us to create mappings. So first off, we will create an AND build file that covers how this is working. Just select the project, select the right project, say export, find the AND build. Just say, yes, we want this, finish. This, we can see here now we have created this one. So let's create a new class file. Uh, just, we will not be doing anything in some, yeah, yeah. So here we just have a sample code, and here is a file, user file, that will be included somewhere under here, you can find it. And user fields XML, and here we place it here. So what does this do? Says it's create the, the AND and Eclipse import, then it imports the standard build file, uh, sets some properties where it should store the file, delete this directory and then create it again, and then you can have a list of different jar files you want to have created. So if we want to have create one for CIM, we will just create one here called CIM, and this is this file we want on these files under this folder we want to include we could also have specific folders and all kind of data and that is it so we select the file say run us save it run us and build file and here we want to select build and pack. So we'll build the project first and then we will pack all the files together. So we can see here now it has created this file here. And if we up here, you can see we have created the directory and open with other open. Okay, let's open it. So here we have the file, we can see that it's been creating a manifest and we have the folders here, we have both the Java file just it on the screen, and we have the class file and the great thing about this is that if someone at a later state have to maintain your, your code, they can always see what are the, the classes of Java files that you've used instead of having to rely on decompiling them. So I hope that these tips is uh, useful. I'll share this uh, usable file uh, in the post uh, that is linked to in this video. So um, until we meet again, goodbye.